We're going to explain how to reset your Akai MPK Mini MK3. There are a couple of ways to do this, depending on what kind of reset you need. One, the first and easiest method is a simple power cycle. Just unplug the MPK Mini 3 from your computer or power source. Wait about 10 seconds, then plug it back in. This often resolves minor glitches and clears temporary data. This is your go-to for most basic troubleshooting. Two, if a simple power cycle doesn't solve your problem, you might need to perform a factory reset. This will erase all your custom settings and return the MPK Mini 3 to its default state. To do a factory reset, locate the small button on the back of the MPK Mini 3. It's usually recessed slightly and may be marked with a small symbol. This is often called a system reset button. Three, with the MPK Mini 3 powered off, Press and hold this small button while simultaneously powering on the unit using the USB power connection or power adapter. Four, continue to hold the button down for about five, 10 seconds. You might see a visual indicator on the MPK Mini 3's display, such as flashing lights or a specific symbol that confirms the reset is happening. If you're not sure, err on the side of holding it longer to make sure it's definitely been done. Five, once you release the button, your MPK Mini 3 should have completed the factory reset. All your custom MIDI mappings, presets, and any other user-defined settings will be gone, so make sure you don't need any of those before performing this reset. 6. If you still face issues after a factory reset, you may want to consult Akai's official support documentation or contact their customer support for further assistance. They may have additional troubleshooting steps or identify a more serious issue. Remember to always back up your important settings before attempting a factory reset to avoid data loss if possible. These steps should help you reset your Akai MPK Mini MK3 successfully.